What's up, guys? This is Kyle from Wax Museum. So um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the NBA at 75 and the 75 greatest players list that they're about to release to the public. Um, so in 1996 and 97, they did their 50 greatest players. Um, I don't have a, an official 50 greatest players collection, but I got to thinking I probably have a lot of patches of these guys and I wouldn't mind trying to finish out the 50 or, or to see what's possible. So I kind of dug through all my stuff and PC scans together. So I wanted to show you my progress so far um, and see what you guys think. So I'm going to go through all of the names, uh, last names alphabetically. And I'm going to show on the screen a, a patch card that I have for every player. All right, so the, we're going to start with the A's, which would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So um, there is my flawless patch of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Very nice patch. Uh, Nate Archibald has prime patches and some of the older exquisite products. Um, very, very expensive, very hard to come by. I think he's got some either, um, it'd be Kings or Royals patches. And then he also has some Celtic stuff. Um, I just have one of the blank jersey cards, so I didn't put that in here. I'm only counting prime pieces uh, as long as they have them. Um, Paul does not have anything. Um, it doesn't even have any memorabilia cards as far as I know. Uh, Barkley's got some. I don't have any. So here is uh, the next one I do have, which is Rick Barry. Kind of a weak patch. He's got some better stuff out there. Um, the Rockets stuff is more available that Panini made. I don't really want a Rockets patch. I want a nice Warriors patch if I can get one for Barry. Um, this is one of my favorite cards in my collection. And in fact, I think it just narrowly missed my top five video that I made not long ago. This is a jumbo Elgin Baylor immaculate patch number to four. Uh, Dave Bing does not have any memorabilia cards out there. Not pro ones. Uh, here's a Larry Bird. Immaculate card number to his jersey number, acetate surface. Very nice card. Not a great patch, but um, still a pretty nice card. Here's my Wilt Chamberlain uh, 2004 Ultimate Collection, number 69 out of 100. Um, here is my Bob Cousy relic. I'm counting this one. He doesn't have any prime relics. In fact, I've only seen two relic cards that he has, and they're both using this blue material on the back. It says it's from Game Worn Shorts. My guess is that it's from an all-star game of some sort, and that's really all that I can find. Um, this was an upgrade recently, a uh, nice letter piece from a Dave Cowan's nameplate. Billy Cunningham does not have any memorabilia cards. Dave DeBusher only has one, and it's this legendary jersey here. They didn't put any prime pieces in this set, so for my 50 greatest, I'm counting this one. Uh, Drexler's got tons of stuff. I just don't have any. Just waiting for the right piece. Here's a Julius Irving patch numbered to nine from Black Gold Massive Materials. Really like that one. Here's a Patrick Ewing from Gold Standard. Had several Ewing patches that I could have chosen from. Here's a Walt Frazier uh, 101 tag patch from a Sport Kings product. And I know a lot of people don't like Sport Kings, but uh, where else are you going to get a full full-size Frazier tag like that. So I had to jump on that one when I saw it. George Gervin. So here's a, you know, there is some leaf stuff in here as well, but um, where, you know, where are you going to get the G nameplate from Gervin? So I had to pick that one up. Hal Greer does not have a lot of stuff out there. He's got uh, an old fleece warm-up jacket that Panini has been using. And this is from, you know, either the kind of the cuffs or the neck um, or the, even the bottom part. Um, so it's from one of the edges, but um, not a great patch, but there's not a lot out there for Hal Greer. And the the um, real nice ones go for stupid money and they get shilled all the time for whatever reason. Okay, I cheated a little bit here on Havlicek. He does have prime patches. I don't have one. I have a regular jersey card of him, but I also have this shoe card and it's just so cool and so unique. I had to include it. Is it a patch? No, uh, but I am going to count it for right now. Elvin Hayes has um, a few things out there, not much. He's got his pro patches are from the San Diego Rockets. Not much to choose from. They don't pop up often. I've not been successful in getting one of those. Magic Johnson, I've got one coming in soon. There's plenty of stuff out there for him. Uh, Sam Jones, there, there are a few Panini relics out there. They're very hard to get, um, and they um, do not show up often. Michael Jordan, um, I don't have an actual 
patch that's embedded in a card, but I do have this. Um, this was a program called G-Gum where Beckett um, cut up a piece, pieces of jerseys and put them in the slab. So it says game use patch on the slab and it's included in there. I have another one too. I just don't have the scan for that. Jerry Lucas here, those patches are really hard to come by. I was fortunate enough to get this one from Flawless back in the day. I mean, now you can't get them cheap. I think I got this for like $11. Um, next patch here, nothing remarkable, but a nice uh, jumbo Carl Malone flawless patch. I've got a jumbo Moses Malone flawless patch. If you can't tell, I like flawless patches. Got a flawless Maravich patch here. He doesn't have a ton of stuff out there, not prime pieces at least. So very, very happy, even though that is just trim, very happy to grab that one. Um, this is a McHale that I've had since, I believe since it came out. And I think this is a 2004 card from Skybox Premium. Um, Mikan doesn't have a lot of prime pieces out there. This one's from National Treasures. Had to grab that one when I saw it. Earl Monroe, I don't have anything for him. He's got stuff, even dating back to tops. Hakeem's got tons of stuff. I just haven't found the right one. Shaq, here's um, an NBA Finals worn piece of the Larry O'Brien trophy. So I, I've got several patch, uh, patches for Shaq. I've got a Celtics one for Shaq, which I think is pretty cool. But uh, this one's very unique. Robert Parrish got a nice jumbo patch here from Absolute Memorabilia. Bob Pettit does not have any um, jersey memorabilia cards. Scotty Pippen has a ton. I just don't have one. Same thing. Willis Reese got a decent amount. Um, here's an Oscar Robertson. He doesn't have a lot of prime pieces. They're out there. You just got to pay up for them. David Robinson has a ton. I just don't have one. Russell, I've got some. Uh, regular jersey pieces, the prime pieces are incredibly hard to come by and incredibly expensive. Someday I'm going to have to pony up for one. Um, that day is not today, though, so still waiting on a Russell patch, hoping that more are produced at some point, but it's not looking good. Dolph Shays does not have any NBA relics out there. Bill Sharman, he has a, a floor card from Fleer, but he doesn't have any jersey relics. Stockton's got a ton of stuff. I just don't have one yet. Um, Isaiah Thomas has got a lot of stuff. I chose this letter or nameplate patch from Leaf, although they kind of put it in between the letters. Nate Thurman does not have a lot of stuff out there, but Panini thankfully has used um, a jersey for him. I'm not too fond of the sticker auto here, but can't be too picky with his stuff right now. Wes Unseld. So an interesting note about the Wes Unseld patch that you see here. This is the only NBA patch that I know of of Wes Unseld. I have two of the 10 copies. It's also the only one from this slideshow that mentions that it's event worn on the back as opposed to game worn. So I don't know what event he wore these at. I don't have any other info on it, but um, you know that's the only option out there. So that's something that I, I definitely grabbed when I saw it. Very unique piece. And you can see it's from uh, one of the L's and bullets it's from the top from the hand there. We've got a Bill Walton Celtics patch here. This was uh, a gift from my friend Tim, who collects Tristan Thompson. So thank you, Tim. Uh, nice UD Black Jerry West patch here with um, several different types of pieces. So I like that one a lot. Nothing for Lenny Wilkins out there. Uh, even, you know, give us a coach relic. Give us something. That'd be pretty cool. And then finally, we've got a, a jumbo, flawless, James Worthy patch here. Looks like a, a big piece of the four would be my guess. All right, so just to recap everything, um, there are seven out of the 50 players that don't have jersey memorabilia cards. So if you're chasing the 50 greatest and you want patches or jerseys even, you can only get 41 of them. And then out of those 41, two of them don't have any prime versions available, which would be Kuzi and DeBusher. And I showed you the, the regular versions that you can get. I have those. So if, if I'm counting the, the Havlicek shoe card, then I have 30 out of 41 possible. Um, and the, the 11 that are left, some of them are still very obtainable. I just um, haven't got around to spending the money on them or I haven't found the right ones that I want. But anyway, Thanks for watching, guys. Um, until next time, remember there are new episodes of the podcast every Thursday. <laughs>